Hey, I'm Holly and I'm in third year and I've been asked to record a few questions about my experiences getting into med school. Um, so I hope this goes okay, hope you don't get too bored. Also, if you're applying this year, best of luck. I hope it's all going well for you. Um, so the first question I'm going to go through is what are my top tips for interviews? Um, first and foremost, try and enjoy it. I mean, you're there talking about yourself, showcasing how great you are, like may as well try and like get a bit of enjoyment out of it. Um, the first interview that I did, I was so scared. I felt completely out of my depth and it was just not a positive experience for me at all. Um, I think in a large part it was because I'd never done anything like that before. So my confidence was low because I was around so many people who were like had completely different backgrounds to me, um, had completely different experiences to me. I'd, I'd just never been anywhere like that before um, with so many big personalities as well. Um, so I, I did find that quite tricky, but then I didn't get in that year, ended up taking a gap year, working in a hospital for a bit, tried again the next year and I got four interviews and I got offered four places as well. So like there was definitely improvement. And the only thing that changed in that year was the fact that I reset maths, so my maths grade was a bit higher, um, but the fact that I was more confident. Like I did, I worked in a hospital for a bit um, and not only did this mean that I learned a lot more about sort of how a hospital works and the role of a doctor, the role of a nurse, the role of a healthcare assistant, um, so I worked as a healthcare assistant, um, but it also taught me a lot about myself, how I deal with like emergencies, for example, um, and how I can then stay calm when this happens in future. And it, it, you know, it's just nice to have that independence before university, or at least it was for me. Um, so yeah, my top tip for interview is try and work out how you can have the most fun doing it. Um, and being confident goes such a long way. Um, I think especially for me, having the experience to talk about meant that all I had to showcase was my passion for what I'd done and my passion for studying medicine. Whereas the first time that I applied, it was more about rope learning, a load of reasons for something and then trying to recall that at an interview, um, which like it works for some people, but it didn't work for me. So yeah. Um, and then I think I covered everything there that I was supposed to do. Um, oh, the second bit was how universities are at interview might inform your choices as well. The reason that I picked BSMS was because it was the one place where the interview felt more like a conversation that was two-sided um, and it really felt as though the interviewer was trying to bring the best out of me and trying to understand what I was saying and get a better picture of what I was trying to convey as opposed to at some interviews where I just felt the lowest of the low. I just felt like they weren't bothered about what I was saying. They just wanted to catch me out, which isn't a very nice feeling at all. Um, and at the end of the day, this med school is supposed to develop you into a good doctor and boost your confidence and help you along. So yeah, why they try and catch you out like that at interviews? I don't really know what their game is, but yeah. Um, is there a piece of advice that you wish you could have given your younger self when thinking about applying to medicine? For me, just largely failure is a good thing. I didn't get in first time, as I said, I didn't get my grades first time, um, but it's it made me into a better person. I can now know that I can survive adversity. Things can go wrong, and that doesn't mean that you can't do what you want to do. Um, and medicine's a really weird one as well because it's kind of portrayed as this like superhero profession um, where no one has any, no one's ever done anything wrong. Everyone's really smart. Every, so many people have failed exams, have taken a year out because they need to focus on like mental health, because a relative has passed away, because something's happened. And I think the big takeaway is it's it's not really even failure. It's just life. Every like. Life still happens, even if you're doing this. 
So don't beat yourself up about sort of a bad test grade or not getting in the first time or don't feel inferior compared to other people on the course or like you less worthy as well. Um, again, this might just be me because I, I did get pretty bad imposter syndrome when I first came to uni um, and it still creeps in now sometimes. Um, but yeah, just realise that fail like failure is something that you can see much differently and is something that also, for me anyway, made me far stronger and far able to deal with not coming top and not like happy with myself. It makes me way less prone to comparing myself to others. So yeah. Um, another piece of advice, gap years are actually a quite, like a pretty solid plan. Um, it really helped me to improve my confidence and working in a hospital meant I understood more clinically as well which was pretty sweet because I worked on a respiratory ward and the first clinical term at VSMS was heart, lungs and blood. So yeah, I already knew what all the masks were and kind of like basic management for a respiratory patient, which was cool. Um, yeah, what is your top tip for prospective applicants applying to study medicine? Um, I think the same applies as before with kind of not seeing things that don't go your way as failure and also even if you do just celebrate it don't beat yourself up about it um enjoy it as well because even as horrible as BMAT and UCAT were and preparing for interview I can still remember the adrenaline rush of kind of like coming out of an interview where I've just fully communicated how much I want this um, and kind of just having the words flow naturally was really nice. Um, another top tip, um, research the societies before you apply as well, so that then when you come away to university, you know what's, like you know where you can kind of find your crowd as well. It's, it's pretty good at Brighton because there's so many different societies, so many different sports you can do. There's the Downs so close by, there's a really vibrant city centre. It's like a 20 minute bus ride from campus and you'll live close to the city in the second year or later on. Um, so yeah, kind of like get to know the city well, get to know what university life will be like um, and try and match that to you as well. Um, Brighton's a pretty good match for me because it's close to the sea. So it's, it's really chill, it's really calming. Um, and there's some really nice running routes as well. Um, yeah, that's about it, I believe. Um, make as many friends as you can because I've met some great people whilst I've been at BSMS. Um, yeah, thanks so much for listening to this if you listened to it all. And if you want to hear even more from me, um, if you click the link below, there should be a transcript to the full interview. Um, so yeah, take care. Thank you.